Did you know that according to a recent study, over 24% of people traveled solo in the past year? And no, they're not all single or adventurous souls. Solo travel is for everyone. Picture this, you standing alone on the edge of a canyon, watching the sunset paint the sky in hues of red and orange. Or you wandering through a bustling marketplace in a foreign country, tasting exotic foods and hearing unfamiliar languages. These are the moments that solo travel gives you. Moments of freedom, exhilaration, and pure, unfiltered experience. Solo travel is a growing trend, and it's not hard to see why. It's a journey of self-discovery, a way to step outside of your comfort zone and dive headfirst into the unknown. It's about realizing that you are capable of so much more than you ever imagined. There's a certain thrill in being the master of your own itinerary, in having the freedom to change your plans on a whim, to stay a day longer in a city you've fallen in love with, or to leave a place that didn't quite meet your expectations. No negotiations, no compromises, just you and the open road. But it's not just about the independence. Solo travel also offers unique opportunities for connection. It opens you up to meeting people from all walks of life, people you might not have interacted with had you been traveling in a group. It's about shared stories over hostel dinners, about forming bonds that transcend geographical boundaries. And let's not forget the personal growth, navigating foreign lands, overcoming language barriers, handling unexpected situations. These experiences build resilience and confidence. They allow you to learn not just about the world, but about yourself. So, are you ready to embark on an unforgettable solo journey? Stay tuned for some top tips that will help you make the most of your adventure. Before you set off, remember this. Knowledge is power. Planning a solo trip? Your first stop should be research. Research is the compass that will guide you through the thrilling yet challenging journey of solo traveling. It's not just about knowing the best sights to see. It's about understanding your destination inside out. Start by digging into the culture. Familiarize yourself with local customs and etiquette. A little understanding can go a long way in making connections and avoiding faux pas. You'll be surprised how appreciative locals can be when you show respect for their traditions. Next, get a lay of the land. Study maps to get a sense of the layout. Identify key landmarks and how they relate to each other. Look up public transportation options. Should you get a bus pass or is it a bike-friendly city? Maybe it's best explored on foot. That's the kind of info you want at your fingertips. Safety is paramount. Research crime rates and common scams in the area. Check out travel advisories and stay updated. Look for safe neighborhoods to stay in and routes to avoid at night. Don't forget to investigate the local healthcare facilities, just in case you need them. Food, glorious food. Researching local cuisine is a delicious part of trip planning. Identify must-try dishes and the best places to eat them. But also, be aware of any common food safety issues. Finally, study the local weather patterns. You don't want to be caught unprepared by a sudden monsoon or an unexpected cold snap. Pack accordingly. A well-researched traveler is a confident traveler. It's like having a superpower. You'll be able to navigate unfamiliar places, interact with locals and handle unexpected situations with ease. Remember, the goal isn't just to survive your solo trip, but to thrive, to come back with rich experiences, new friendships and unforgettable memories. Research is your secret weapon in this adventurous endeavor. It helps you make informed decisions, avoid unnecessary risks, and seize opportunities that might otherwise pass you by. So, before you zip up your suitcase and head for the airport, take the time to do your homework. As the saying goes, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So, do your homework. Traveling solo means you are your own porter, so pack light. Let's dive into the art of packing, a crucial skill that can make or break your solo travel experience. The first rule of thumb is packing versatile clothing. Think of it as creating a travel wardrobe that can effortlessly transition from a sunny afternoon at a cafe to a cooler evening exploring the city streets. Opt for neutral colors that can easily be mixed and matched. And don't forget to consider the local customs and weather of your destination. The second tip is to limit unnecessary items. It's easy to overpack, thinking we need to be prepared for every possible scenario. But let's be honest, 
How many times have you returned from a trip with unused items in your suitcase? Quite a few, right? So ask yourself, will I use this more than once? If the answer is no, leave it behind. Next, organization is key. Packing cubes, for instance, are a lifesaver. They help you group similar items together, making it easier to find what you need without turning your suitcase inside out. Also, they compress your clothes, creating more space. A win-win. Consider also the weight and accessibility of your belongings. Heavier items should be at the bottom of your suitcase to keep it balanced, while essentials like your passport, phone, and wallet should be easily accessible, preferably in your carry-on. Lastly, don't forget about your toiletries. Opt for travel-sized versions of your must-haves or consider buying some items at your destination. And remember, all liquids must comply with airport security regulations, so double-check before you pack. And here's a bonus tip. Leave some space for souvenirs or items you might purchase during your trip. You wouldn't want to miss out on a unique find simply because there's no room in your suitcase, would you? Remember, every extra item is extra weight. Pack smart, travel light. And with that, you're one step closer to mastering the art of solo travel. Stay tuned for more tips in our next scene. While solo travel is about disconnecting, it's also important to stay connected. In the grand adventure that is solo travel, we often seek to disconnect from our usual routines, to immerse ourselves in new cultures and experiences. Yet, it's crucial we also remember the importance of staying connected, not just to our loved ones back home, but also to the world around us, to the heartbeat of our chosen destination. Staying connected doesn't mean you're tied down, it means you're safe, informed, and paradoxically, free. It's about having a lifeline, a tether to familiar grounds while you explore the unknown. And it's easier than you might think, thanks to the marvels of modern technology. Let's start with the basics. Regular check-ins with friends and family aren't just a good way to share your experiences. They're also a safety net. A simple message or call can reassure your loved ones that you're safe and sound. Sharing your itinerary with someone trustworthy is also a smart move. This doesn't mean you have to stick to it rigidly, but it gives folks back home a general idea of your whereabouts. If anything should go awry, they'll know where to start looking. Now let's talk about technology. Our smartphones are magical devices, aren't they? They're compact, yet they hold a world of information and can be a solo traveler's best friend. There are countless apps designed to keep you safe during your travels. From maps and translators to emergency services, these tools can be lifesavers in unfamiliar territory. But remember, technology is a tool, not a crutch. Use it wisely and don't let it distract you from the world around you. Travel is about being present, about soaking in the sights, sounds, and sensations of a new place. So, use your phone when you need it, but don't forget to look up and take in the view. In the age of technology, staying safe and connected is easier than ever. So as you embark on your solo journey, remember to stay connected. Not just for safety, but for the freedom it grants, the peace of mind it brings, and the stories you'll get to share when you return home. When you're on your own, your instincts are your best ally. This statement is as true in everyday life as it is in solo travel. Trusting your gut, your intuition, can be a powerful tool when you're navigating unfamiliar territory, both geographically and socially. You see, our instincts are honed by our experiences, our knowledge, and our understanding of the world around us. When something doesn't feel right, it's often because our subconscious mind has picked up on subtle cues that our conscious mind might have missed. Take, for instance, meeting new people. Solo travel often involves interacting with strangers, from the taxi driver to the friendly local showing you around. While these encounters can lead to wonderful friendships and unforgettable experiences, they can also present risks. That's where your gut feeling comes into play. If something about a person or situation feels off, it's okay to step back even if you can't quite put your finger on why. Sometimes, trusting your gut can mean choosing to explore a bustling marketplace rather than a deserted alleyway. Other times, it might mean deciding to stay in for the night instead of venturing out into an unfamiliar city after dark. Remember, intuition isn't about being paranoid or fearful. It's about being aware and making wise decisions based on that awareness. It's about listening to that little voice in your head that whispers when something is amiss. 
It's also important to note that trusting your gut is not about rejecting opportunities or avoiding new experiences. It's about understanding your comfort zones and knowing when something is genuinely risky versus when it's just unfamiliar. So while you're out there, exploring the world one city at a time, remember to trust your instincts. They're the result of thousands of years of human evolution designed to protect you from danger. As you embark on your solo journey, remember to keep your wits about you, stay aware of your surroundings, and most importantly, trust your gut. Because trust your instincts, they're your best guide on this solo journey. Language can be a barrier, or it can be a bridge. You decide. The world is a symphony of languages, and each one holds a unique melody and rhythm that reflects its culture. As a solo traveler, you get to choose whether language will be a stumbling block or a stepping stone on your journey. Learning even a few basic phrases in the local language can transform your travel experience. It shows respect for the culture, makes you more approachable, and can even help you navigate through unfamiliar territory. Besides, who doesn't love the thrill of mastering the phrase, where's the bathroom, in a new language? Imagine the smiles you'll earn when you say thank you in their native tongue, or the friendships you could kindle by asking, how are you, in the local lingo. These small interactions can lead to meaningful connections that make your trip truly memorable. A simple hello in the local language could open doors to unforgettable experiences. Let's quickly recap the top tips for an amazing solo travel experience. Firstly, dive deep into research about your chosen destination. Get to know the local customs, the best transportation options, and any safety advice that might come in handy. Knowledge, as they say, is power. And when you're traveling solo, it's your best companion. Secondly, become a master packer. Keep it light, keep it simple and only bring the essentials. Remember, every extra pound is one you'll have to carry. So make your luggage a burden of love, not a chore. Thirdly, even though you're traveling solo, don't forget to stay connected. Share your itinerary with someone back home, someone trustworthy. This way, you're never truly alone, even when you're thousands of miles away. Fourth, trust your instincts. If something or someone doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Your gut is an excellent judge of character and situations, so don't ignore it. Fifth, learn the language, or at least a few key phrases. It can make a world of difference when trying to navigate unfamiliar territory. Plus, locals always appreciate the effort, and who knows, it might even lead to a few unexpected friendships. Sixth, stay aware. This means keeping an eye on your belongings, especially in crowded areas, and being conscious of your surroundings. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement, but don't let it cloud your judgment. Seventh, make copies of important documents. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Having extra copies can save you a lot of trouble in case of loss or theft. Eighth, stash emergency cash. Keep it in different locations so you're never left high and dry. Ninth, embrace solo activities, but also be open to making new friends. Balance is key here. You're out there to explore and discover, but also to connect with different cultures and people. Last but not least, prioritize self-care. Listen to your body's needs. Get ample rest. Stay hydrated. You're on an adventure, but you're also human. Remember, solo travel is an adventure in self-discovery. Embrace it, learn from it, and most importantly, enjoy it. Before we wrap up this video, we would like to remind you that traveling solo doesn't mean you're alone. You're part of a global community of solo travelers, explorers, and wanderers. Connect with them through online forums, social media groups, or local meetups. Learn from their experiences, share your own stories, and grow together. The journey of a solo traveler is unique and personal, but it's also a shared experience. So don't hesitate to engage with the travel tribe. This is your journey, but you're not alone. Remember, every person you meet on your travels is a potential new friend, a fellow voyager on this beautiful adventure we call life. And now, as we bring this video to a close, we would like to remind you to like and subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and guides. Your support helps us continue to create content that helps you on your travel journey. So, hit that like button, click on the subscribe, 
and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from us. Safe travels, everyone.